Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I had something to mention about purification of spirit. You know, the various religious tra traditions all have different ways of purifying the spirit with sadhana and many other things. And, uh, and I like many of those traditions. I like getting up very early in the morning. I like uh, purifying my diet. I like meditating. And I like many different I take from many different spiritual traditions. I like reading uh, sacred books and so forth, and uh, associating with with uh, spiritual people, and uh, keeping a positive attitude, and many different things that I've learned from all over the place, all over the years. And I just wanted to to mention something that I've learned in recent times, in the last few years. We've talked some about uh, subconscious symbolism, and this has little to do with subconscious symbolism. And also, it has to do with astral entities, which I don't talk about too much, but uh, Arthur E. Powell in The Astral Body talks about them fairly much. And uh, just, okay, so it goes like this. And this only This is in my instance. I don't know if it's true for you. I found that over the years that if I take a shower before I retire for the evening for slumber that that I have a much more restful night and that I wake much more refreshed right and so I was very curious about this but on because on the occasions when I forget to do that or I I, uh, I don't have time to do that then I wake up with a feeling that uh, uh, sort of a, um, an astral coarseness to, to my aura. So finally I figured out that the reason for this is that my subconscious mind, when I don't take a shower in the evening, says to itself, I feel dirty, I feel dirty in, in the middle of the night, right? And this subconscious like grumbling or upset uh, causes uh, causes the lower beings from the lower astral realm that like um, that like dirtiness. I don't know if you've read about it yet, but there are such beings that like like dust and dirt and grime and so forth to, to gather around me while I sleep, and that that's creating some trouble. And in addition, there's some like ambiguity to do with dirtiness. All, uh, throughout the newosphere, the uh, unconscious thought cloud of the world, that word dirtiness is somehow associated with sexuality. Uh, there's a whole like um, misaligned energy to do with that. And so, so also gather around me the kind of entities that stimulate sexuality while we sleep, like incubus, succubus sorts of stuff. So, so for me, it's been proven through many trials that it's a very bad idea for me to, to retire for the evening for slumber without taking a shower first. I thought I'd mention that. Um, there's also a spiritual tradition of getting up like 3 a.m. in the morning, angel hour, and taking a cold shower followed by a warm shower. Um, first putting on, um, I think it's almond oil to protect the body from too much shock. That's called hydrotherapy. And uh, so I'm not against that either. I think that's a good idea. In fact, if, if you have the resources available in terms of water, it's not such a bad idea to take a quick shower twice twice a day, once on retiring and once on getting up. <laughs> so that's the notion of cleanliness. Cleanliness is godliness. And that's some notions about why that's so.